MTV Music Television, the world's only 24-hour-a-day video music channel. I'm Martha Quinn, in for Alan Hunter with Duran Duran, the police, Def Leppard, and soccer results from Elton John in China in the music news. Falco, he is the original performer of Dare Commissar. You saw it right there. And before that, the police with studies and synchronicity, which is really a video sampler from the videos from the upcoming synchronicity album. The official release date is June 14th. You can watch for that next police album. Coming up here on MTV in the next 20 minutes, the Stray Cats doing Stray Cat Strut, plus the latest video by two brothers who have been making rock and roll hits for easily the past 20 years. I'm talking about the Kinks with Come Dancing. MTV. We are glad to be bringing you the best of what's happening in new music. For instance, I got brand new ZZ Top coming up, Give Me All Your Lovin'. But it's so important to remember the roots and go back and take a look at the history of rock and roll. I will be playing the Beatles' Love Me Do, that also coming up here on MTV. The news is happening sooner than that. I'll be talking about a new project for Joe Strummer of The Clash. Stereo, of or for sound reproduction in which two channels are used to give an illusion of a more natural distribution of sources of sound. Television, the transmission of visual images of moving and stationary objects, generally accompanying sound as electromagnetic waves and the reconversion of received waves into visual images. The newest part of your stereo system, NTV Music Television. I'm Martha Quinn, in for Alan Hunter this evening, and right here I've got some music news. Joe Strummer of The Clash is making a movie about British gangsters called Hell West 10. At this point, we've been told this is a personal venture on the part of Joe Strummer. We don't know whether or not it will be officially distributed to be seen by the public, but we'll keep you up to date. Once again, that movie is called Hell West 10 with Joe Strummer of The Clash. There is a group of people in Indianapolis, Indiana, who are demonstrating against concerts that haven't even been scheduled yet. The group is trying to stop the construction of an outdoor arena near the city that would feature rock and roll concerts. The group protesting this arena are saying that unruly teenagers will overrun the neighborhood, so they are really trying to stop the development of Greenpeace Music Valley Amphitheater. The developers of the arena say that this is a, quote, matter of people not understanding what sort of crowds attend these shows. So we will keep you up to date, particularly if you are watching in the Indiana area what's happening with this amphitheater. 
In half an hour, we're going to have concert information for the tubes. But right here, this is video from the Stray Cats. They'll be doing Stray Cat Strut. This is off of the Built for Speed album. In about half an hour, we're going to find out from the Stray Cats themselves what is going on with that next album. But right here, here is the video. TV, music television. We are here all day, all night, and in stereo. I'm Martha Quinn, in for Alan Hunter, and I have Krista Berg, Prince, Loverboy, and the Tom Petty video saga in the music news. That is Prince, 22 years old, having incredible success with the 1999 album Little Red Corvette. Coming up in the next few minutes, The Who with Eminence Front, plus the latest video from David Bowie, China Girl, off of the Let's Dance album. But right here, I've got some music news. Bill Wyman of the Rolling Stones will be one of the judges of this year's Miss Universe beauty pageant. He will be on a panel of judges. This panel of judges is specializing in hits hits of all kinds. We have Bill Wyman of the Rolling Stones. We know what kind of hits they have. Stan Musial, Hall of Famer baseball player. He is there on the panel. We know what kind of hits he's got. And for the final one here, Ken Norton, boxing champ. He is also going to be on this judge. We have a wild panel. The Miss Universe pageant um, airs July 11th and we'll be seen in over 50 cities, countries as well. The characters Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers play in their You Got Lucky video are going to appear again in the group's next video. The band members play a group of desert desperados who stumble onto an abandoned building. And ultimately, Petty would like to expand the idea, we understand, into a feature film, have a whole series of videos. The next video in the series will be coming off of Tom Petty's next album. We'll keep you up to date about the progress of that. During MTV's coverage of the US 83 Festival, Mark Goodman caught up with the Stray Cats, and Brian Setzer gave us the scoop on the band's upcoming album. It'll be out uh, in August. Promise. What we, what we did was we went back in, into the studio, because we're going to release uh, an EP for the price of a single on the 4th of July. So we went back with Dave Edmonds just to get a couple things sorted out, and it'll definitely be out August. Still no title, though, for the next Stray Cats album. Content information right here for The Tubes, a more visual band. I'm hard-pressed to think of somebody who can do an extravaganza of a show like they do. Set changes and costume changes. Wild, wild stuff from Quaalude to the new one, She's a Beauty. You can see it all with The Tubes. 60 minutes from now, I'll tell you where I can go see Iron Maiden live, and it's all happening here on MTV. We are the first to bring you stereo video music. Well, now we are bringing you, literally bringing you to your home, stereo video discs. It's the MTV video disc giveaway. All you have to do is stay right here for full details. Joan Jett, I love rock and roll from her last album. The next Joan Jett and the Black Hearts album is called Album and will be out pretty soon. Before that, David Bowie with China Girl from the Let's Dance album, a tune that David co-wrote with Iggy Pop. I am Martha Quinn and for Alan Hunter here on MTV this evening. Hope you'll be with us Wednesday night at 10 o'clock Eastern time for the fourth edition of the MTV Basement Tapes. This is the show where we play videos from six unsigned bands from around the country and you will get to vote for the band you think most deserves a recording contract with EMI America Records. You don't even have to register to vote in this one. It happens Wednesday night at 10 o'clock Eastern Time, 7 o'clock Pacific Time on the MTV Basement Tapes. Coming up in about the next half hour, I've got a whole lot of video, including one from Genesis, No Reply at All, and the video from the album that has sold more than any other album released in 1982. Of course, business as usual for Men at Work, I'll be getting to Down Under. Well, the Doobie Brothers have now broken up, but the individual members are continuing on. That is Patrick Simmons doing So Wrong from his own solo album entitled Arcade. I'm Martha Quinn. If you stay tuned, you'll not only hear some music news coming up, but also get details on the MTV Video Disc Giveaway, where you could win not only the video disc equipment, but also 26 rock video discs.
I am Martha Quinn in for Alan Hunter, and right here I've got some music news. Joe Strummer of The Clash is making a movie about British gangsters called Hell West 10. We do not know what kind of distribution this film will have at this point. It's a personal venture on the part of Joe Strummer, but we'll keep you up to date. And Elton John is in the news, really for sports reasons. His Watford Hornets soccer team played their first exhibition game in Peking this week. They beat the Chinese national team three to nothing. We get the word that the British team was very strong on their aggressive playing and that won the games for them. A flock of seagulls started a nationwide tour at the US 83 Festival last weekend, and lead singer Mike Score told Mark Goodman what fans can look forward to at the upcoming concert. We've got a brand new stage show, and I think when people actually see that, they'll they'll go away in shock. You know, it's kind of a, it's a really cosmic stage show. We've taken it, uh, last year was just like fun all the way for us, you know, and it was like everything was getting bigger. Uh, we were playing bigger places, we ended at Madison, but this time we're playing places as big as Madison on our own, and we've got a show to match it. We, we spent the last six months in England and Europe putting the whole show together, and now it's here. Now my question is this. When Mike Score puts on a pair of sunglasses, does he put them on over his hair, or does he lift it up and put his sunglasses under that hair? Betcha he never wears sunglasses. Content information right here for Iron Maiden. They are out on the road. In a couple of dates, you'll have to check your local listing. Saxon is on as a special guest for the tour. So you can check out Iron Maiden, Spokane, Eugene, and Portland, Oregon, supporting their latest album, Peace, P-I-E-C-E, -E, of Mind. Concert information for Daryl Hall and John Oates with OXO opening up for them. This is the H2O tour continuing on. And in about half an hour, well, in about an hour, I've got the dates for that. Plus more of today's latest music news in the next half hour. They were in concert here on MTV a couple hours back. Genesis doing no reply at all. Coming up in the next few minutes, I've got a brand new video from Elton John, I'm Still Standing, from his album Too Low for Zero. And also coming up, an artist who's finally back touring the United States for the first time in five years. That is David Bowie, and I'll be playing Let's Dance. TV Music Television, the world's only 24-hour-a-day video music channel. I'm Martha Quinn, in for Alan Hunter with Pat Benatar. Music from Flashdance, In Excess, and L.A. theater critics don't go-go for Belinda Carlisle in the music news. The Go-Go's having fun in the fountain in that one. That's Our Lips Are Sealed going back to the Beauty and the Beat album. Coming up in the next few minutes, Rick Springfield's Affair of the Heart, plus the hottest act to come out of Minnesota since Bob Dylan. Prince is on the way with 1999. I'm Martha Quinn. I've got Belinda Carlisle in the news, but first a story about Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers. The characters from their video, You Got Lucky, are going to appear again in the group's next clip. The band members play a group of desert desperados who stumble on an abandoned building. And ultimately, Petty would like to expand this idea into a feature film. The next video in the series is coming from the upcoming Tom Petty album, that a story in itself, and we'll keep you up to date about that. We just saw our lips are sealed with the Go-Go's. Well, lead singer Belinda Carlisle is on stage this week in a Los Angeles production of Grease. But L.A. theater critics are not all that impressed by the production. And in fact, we've been given a couple of reviews, some that say that, well, Belinda's dancing probably wasn't that good. And some even compared her to Olivia Newton-John. But Belinda Carlisle will be acting once again in a film called Swing Shift. She'll be acting with uh, Goldie Hawn in the film Due Out by Christmas. David Bowie's performance at the US 83 Festival last week was his first concert in five years. We have been waiting over here for more music projects by David Bowie. He talked with Mark Goodman about the performance. Well, it's kind of like going out on a blind date and then a guy coming back and saying, she's really beautiful, <laughs> you know. You're that excited about it? Very, yeah. What was it about rock and roll stage stage performance that brought brought you back to the <laughs> brought you back to the concert stage? Um, not working in five years. I mean, you know, it's sort of I like doing it. <laughs> 
I like the MTV microphone. It makes everything very official. Daryl Hall and John Oates out on the road with OXO opening up. We've got some dates for you. Huntsville, Alabama, the home of the Astronaut Center, the Space Center out down there. Augusta, Charlotte, North Carolina, and then Columbia, Atlanta, and Memphis, Tennessee. 60 minutes down the road, Peter Gabriel tour dates for you, and it's all here on MTV.